the weekend of epic fails. Good morning! It's really windy today. Yeah. So we needed to do a couple of bits before we left today with our little trip. And uh, we filled up with water and we needed... But you can see how windy it is because it's blowing the camera. Uh oh. <laughs> Um, and we needed to pump out. Oh wow! I just have to keep a hand on this. Um, and obviously, still with no valve thruster, uh, we've all got stuck on the pump out pontoon. The wind was just pushing us into the pontoon. We didn't even need to tie a rope, really. We were just wedged against it. Literally were. So I had to uh, barge pole it off of the pontoon. It said to Richard, give it some welly. He was like, welly's not going to help. Yeah, no. <laughs> it just made us crash quicker. Yeah. <laughs> but it died down a little tiny bit. It gave us a window, didn't it, really, yeah. to just get off. And then we were lucky we got off. Yeah. It took about 10 goes. Yeah. It was about half an hour to get off the pump, pump out pontoon. Yeah. Little camera repositioning. It's still wobbling a bit, though, so I'm sorry about this video if your experience is uh, slightly rocky. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so we're off to Leyland today, which we've been to once before, haven't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, we only stayed there once. Yeah, stayed yeah. there once before. And it's not that far, just basically through um, Shepperton Lock and up a little bit. Chertsey Lock. Oh, is it Chertsey Lock? Oh, yeah, Chertsey Lock as well. Chertsey oh, Chertsey yeah. Two, Chertsey. Locks. Two Locks. They're really close together. Um, around a corner and we'd be there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're going to go exploring on our new little purchases. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we don't get blown off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So um, when we first bought the bear, um, in our head, we were going to bring um, our big Rad Runner electric bikes. So we got great. really cool bikes. We got them. Um, back in lockdown, didn't we? Back it was. In 2020. Just, yeah. Um, you know, when they started easing restrictions and you could sort of go out um, with a certain amount of people for some exercise. Um, so, yeah, we bought these amazing electric bikes and we did miles and miles. Oh, we them, did. We had great fun on them, didn't we? Yeah, they were really over, good. Over really the woods good. and, yeah, um, good chunky tyres, can go real off roading on them. Um, absolutely love them um, and for us we were definitely going to be bringing them aboard yeah however we sort of realized after being aboard for quite some time the problem is they're big they're big and they're chunky they're um, heavy and they're heavy they're really heavy because they've got massive batteries on them um, and firstly just lifting them on and off the boat would be a bit of a nightmare yeah um, it wouldn't be an easy experience no. to pop the bike off and go to the shops. No, not at all. Because that was our other thought, is you know, you could go do shopping on them and stuff. Um, and also, because they're so big, <coughs> uh, storage as well, um, they'd take up the whole bow of the boat. Come to the conclusion that we're probably going to have to say goodbye to our beloved electric yeah, bikes. Yeah, we're going to have to sell them. Yeah, and um, instead we've um, bought some fold or sort of fold away uh, collapsible bikes not e-bikes just bog standard bikes little fold up bike my little legs are going to take a bashing yeah <laughs> no electric power to help no um and these are really good we looked at bromptons but they're so expensive oh they're lovely but they're the really great they, just... they fold down so small and they're so light too expensive for them we won't get our money's worth out. No, no. And we've measured and they'll fit under the bed as well. Mind yeah. you, the amount of stuff we're putting under the bed. <laughs> we'll have to take the boat out from under the bed first. Yeah. We've got a little boat under the bed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give them a little test run. Um, and where we're going has got some interesting history around it as well. Yeah. If we can find it. If we can find it, yeah. So, <laughs> let's see what this day brings.
I don't see. Ta-da! So, looking my best self, oh, I just realised our helmets are synchronising because we've got these snazzy helmets which Bluetooth to each other. And um, we've cycled for an hour, which I think is quite good going, really, since we haven't cycled for ages and you can't actually get in. <laughs> so, here it is behind us at the top of a big hill, never to ex be explored no. by Y Beam. And Wellingtons. <laughs> so we moored up in Leyland last night. Well, sorry, yesterday afternoon. Um, all ready for this vlog. Big adventure. Big adventure Woo! on our new bikes. Um, our aim was to sort of cycle around Queen Mary's Reservoir and have a look. There's a sailing club there as well. And um, I thought I was going to get yeah, coffee in a bun. Go for a real good adventure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> unfolded our new bikes, um, got out Richard's um, little GoPro type camera, we were going to show you some biking adventures, <laughs> set up the camera, had our helmets on, off we went, and the GoPro captured 42 seconds of footage. Because the moment you, you closed your phone, put it in your pocket, the camera went okay and turned off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, However, that wasn't the end of the adventure. That wasn't the end of the adventure because even if you had, like, for your viewing pleasure, if we'd managed to capture some beautiful cycling footage, you cannot go into the reservoir. You can't even get into the club. <laughs> Big gates. I mean, it's only three and a half miles round trip, wasn't it, to get there? Yeah, so three and a half miles. I need to find out we couldn't even get through the gates to go and say hello and take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so referring well. back to our video about what we wish we knew and have a plan A, B, C and D, we only had a plan A. So... I mean, the weather was cold, it was windy, it was horrible. By the time we suddenly realised that, it was like, oh no. Now yeah, we've got three and a half miles to ride back. So yeah, probably a six, seven mile round trip. <laughs> my backside is bruised. I had an hour of moaning through my earpiece. <laughs> and nothing about the reservoir at all. No, but the bikes are great. The bikes are really, really good, yeah. And they stow up really nicely, so. Uh, they cycle along so easy, they're yeah. effortless. It's they're, great, they're good. They? They're I love bikes. it. I want to go out today. <laughs> I don't think my bottom would take uh, it to be perfectly honest. Let me get honest. back and... <laughs> the other thing we've got actually, if you are um, a keen biker, um, are helmets that connect via Bluetooth. Yeah, built in um, Bluetooth. And they've got like a little microphone um, Microphone in them, built into the helmet at the top and it's got two little tiny speakers and they just connect the helmets and it's like you're stood next, next to each other even though you can be half a mile away. Yeah, so they're great. You link them all up and link away you go. Up and then you can just talk to each other normally as you're cycling along rather you don't have than to shouting. Turn around going, what? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're really, it's really good actually. And also when I'm getting tired, I'm like, I'm slowing down. <laughs> I look back and it just speeds see off you. like wily coyote I'm on a bike. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, sorry that um, you didn't get to see that footage, but instead <laughs> I have now set up the GoPro on the bow of the boat to capture some beautiful windy river footage for you instead. You'll only get 40 seconds. Yeah, probably. So I, I wouldn't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Story of our lives, but there you go. It's all good fun, isn't it? instead of cruising on the GoPro camera, <laughs> use a suction cup to put it on the front of the boat, batteries died. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the weekend of epic fails. It's a few years old. <laughs> it's a few years old, so I think we need a new battery. Might have 
have captured something. Who knows? So, just a little bit about the reservoir. It holds 6.7 billion gallons of water. That's massive. Absolutely massive. Shame we didn't get to see it. And that's 10,000 Olympic sized swimming pools. That's a lot of water. It used to be able to supply the whole of London for 22 days, but I guess London has got bigger, so it's now only 14 days. That's still a lot. Still quite a lot though, yeah. And in World War II, you mm -hmm. read, didn't you? Yeah. That they um, used it to practice. Um, submersible boats. Just said submersible. Oh, say. submersible. Yeah, I'd say it in uh, small submarines. Wow. And they had to um, knock down some properties in the little village of Littleton, I think it's called, yeah. um, to build the reservoir. And um, interestingly, one of our neighbours at the marina, who lives in Shepparton, um, said that when the water level gets very low, I don't know whether this is true or not, but he said that you can actually still see the chimney pots um, come out of the, the water when the water, the water level water, drops. Yeah. This morning, oh, it's when we got out, up yeah. and it was sort of uh, blowing a hoolie, as they say, and uh, the rain was coming down and the wind, one of the sort of only times really that the boat was rocking yeah, from rocking, the wind. We moving backwards and forwards. I was like, we better get some chicken out of the freezer because <laughs> I think we're staying till Monday. <laughs> I mean, we might still have to do that. I don't know if we're going to get back in the marina. I don't know whether the little GoPro captured it or not, but we just literally got blown sideways into the lock landing as well. So, yeah, it was um, great. Don't yeah, need bow thrusters or anything. We just dropped the speed and we went straight <laughs> across the river. So, okay. <laughs> It's quite so, windy back there, isn't it? Yeah. Only nutters like us would uh, come out on a day or a weekend this windy without any bow thruster. Yeah. they don't work no. but never mind just still showing you the realities of boat life I guess <laughs> um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video even though uh, it turned out to be a little bit of an epic fail but yeah. still captured some funny moments and uh, like always if you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and you can hit the bell icon to get notifications and um, hopefully we'll see you next time hopefully. for something more successful. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye.